Hey guys, welcome to a Child of Light Let's Play series. I'm Naomi Kyle here with Vince. Hey Naomi. Hey, hey. guys and hey. girls of guys IGN. And girls. <laughs> and warriors and sorcerers and whatnot. Yes. Uh, so we are playing Child of Light because it's one of our favorite games this month, or it won our game of the month yeah, last our, month. Won our game of the month yep. for, uh, for, for April. Yep, so we thought it was epic. Um, I have just started playing, so I'm, I'm not super familiar with it, but I've heard so much about it. First of all, the art style is amazing. I love the story. It's a fairy tale. Just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's super cute. And we're going to be playing through a really epic part, according to Vince. Uh, why don't you tell well, us <laughs> why it's an important part? Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's. I don't know if epic is the best word. Okay. It sounds great coming out. It's like epic. But I don't know if it's <laughs> epic. What's interesting, though, is that to this point, the game is mostly played like a, like a mix of of role-playing game and platformer. Right. We're very early in the game here. We were just playing a little bit together. But uh, but that's going to change a little bit now. Why, why, why don't we advance on through this dialogue? Yeah. Because we don't want to spoil things for people. So I'm, I'm going through the dialogue. I'm going to – hopefully you guys are reading. I'm reading it very quickly. It all rhymes, which is something that I noticed. You yeah. said it was a Shakespearean style so, writing? Yeah. So it's, okay. it's not – okay, so as a theater major, it's not strictly <laughs> speaking – perfect iambic pentameter but it is based in that uh in that structure where uh, okay. everything is kind of metered in a certain way to uh yeah to rhyme and have kind of a, a poetic uh, cadence to it yeah um and i don't think there's ever been a game that has ever attempted to do that and to be fair throughout the entire game the whole no game less. yeah and it's not easy to do you know it's not easy to tell a story of any kind while while keeping that together, and yeah, there's there's moments I noted this in my review. There's moments where it's a little bit forced, right? But uh, but for the most part, it adds a lot of charm, um, and heart to the story. Now, now this is does. this is one of my favorite moments. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, little Aurora doesn't have to jump anymore. No, she can float. Because now Aurora, she can't just float. She can f straight out. Straight fly. out fly, because she's got fly. wings now. Yep, she's got wings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so so at this point the game is no longer really a plat it's been a platformer for like the first half hour, forty five minutes maybe. Yeah. But uh, no, at this point now for the rest of the game, I mean this is how you explore the world is by by flapping about. That's and really amazing. You can even hear if you listen carefully when when you're exploring the world, you can hear the the, the pitter patter like of her wings. Oh her wing, that is her so little wings. It's adorable. so cute. So adorable. <laughs> so yes, very adorable game. Uh, this fairy tale element, I mean I Press a automatically. To press oh, A to fly. A. You have to press Look, A to fly. I'm flying. Yeah, you don't have to pre keep pressing it. A, a, like once you're in the air, A will have you're you dash. You're just floating around. But yeah, kind of now how you can just Firefly does it. Yes. Yeah. Great. That is so awesome. Yeah, and now I can collect flowing. the wishes. I don't have to rely on you to do it. <laughs> but but you need me for something. I do need I'm you for something. I'm kind of important, maybe. No, Iniculus is pretty important. <laughs> I don't know if I'm important, but Iniculus definitely. Is. Definitely is. Can't go without him. Uh, I'm guessing there's still some puzzle elements that I have to solve. Oh, I'm yeah, th that's not going to go away. That's going to be the whole game. I mean, it's the whole game, of course. Yeah. But I'm just trying to figure out what our next part of the story is. Um, yeah, I automatically thought that this was like a very Sleeping Beauty inspired story. Oh, I mean, yeah. Her name's Aurora. Um, you said that the end boss sort of reminds the, you of Maleficent. The main, the main villain reminds me a lot of Maleficent. Absolutely. Um, so like she's in a dream world. Oh, sleeping. hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to the okay. left real quick cuz you yep. see I can collect something for you. I can get this little Oh, great. Bam. Meanwhile, I'm just staring at a wall. <laughs> That's cool. Walls are cool. Walls yeah, we're, are going, cool. we're going upwards and onwards. All so right. now this is a, a, ch a kind of chest that only Nicholas can open. Okay. So you see you kind of need me for something. See, I tried to open it, it didn't work and I was like, "What's going on?" You're like, "I need a buddy." <laughs> oh, this is so great. And hey, as it turns out, this game's pretty gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> The water, I mean, it's like a watercolored sort of yeah. inspired style. There's a, wow, I mean, you're floating around, so it's it's very dreamlike, of course. Yeah, greatly inspired by ancient mono paintings. And, uh, yeah. So we're just introducing you guys to this, this game, but we want to know, of course, what you guys love. If you haven't had a chance to play it, if you haven't yet, tell us what you liked most uh, in this Let's Play video. You know what I love? I love playing with the rover's hair as a Nicholas. Are you playing with my yeah, hair? I am. Look, stop. Wait, stop moving. Look, watch. You're going to make all kinds of knots in my hair. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> You're having a bad hair day, courtesy of me. Yeah, exactly. You'll you'll be able to make it look worse or good, however I choose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see this guy. Or lady. My bad. Yes. Apologies. We have a friend. Apologies, Jessa. 
little lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any unicorns balancing on balls? Is that what unicorns are known for? Um, I don't know. So I Jester is so. a cool character. Uh, um, this Jester is a cool character because she can't. So you know how everything is in rhyme? Yeah. Like, she can't rhyme. Oh, that's perfect. She can never figure out how She's to rhyme. She's probably the only person I can understand in this whole game. <laughs> <laughs> and Aniculus is always like saying, this is how you, this is probably what you meant to say to rhyme. So if you watch Curled, uh, World. All right, that's okay. This Let's is like right. You're reading the letter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once we get back to some conversation between her and the jester, you'll see she tries to rhyme and she can never figure that out. <laughs> Just as, as sort of accent too, to the ringer left her belly behind. Me, Lim wittiest. Now, what would what would rhyme there? Wittiest, uh, prettiest. No, no. Really? Okay, so taking yeah. me through the ringer, left yeah. rebellia behind. Me, Lumeria's wittiest. What would rhyme with ringer there? Oh, with ringer. Oh, of course. Uh, singer. There you go. Duh. She's like vocalist. vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just got it. I had to read before. Obviously, I wasn't paying and then, attention. And, and then, of course, Nicholas is just like. Oh God. You'll see. He's like. Uh, mwah, like mwah. <laughs> doesn't she mean singer? Yeah, I think that's what she meant. I think it's really cute. Oh well, it is cute, and there's that's like, one of the things we love so much about it, is the charm. And the gameplay's kind of cool, too. Like, uh, we haven't really shown a battle yet in this episode, but wait till we do get to one, which I hope we do. Yeah, we had, uh, we had a, a pretty a pretty epic one right before we started recording. Yeah, we did. Everyone missed us handily taking out these two stone giants. There were cool. They were big giants. Yeah, and big, that's huge statues. Yeah, there's big spiders, big giants, big ones. I hate big spiders. They can all die. <laughs> Are you scared of Very spiders? Very like, ac acutely arachnophobic. Guys, we just learned that Vince, he's afraid of spiders. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, is it just spiders or any insect? It's spiders. Okay. Let's okay. attack this guy. You got this guy. You got this. I'm going right. to get him from behind to sneak attack him. Okay, this is great. Bellissimo. Oh, my God. I got three three evil guys, too. Oh, no. Well, no. Jester. So Sorry. Now, I right, assumed she was a bad guy, but now no. You have, now you have Rubella. Now I'm good. To, uh, to help you out. Now, great. Um, the biggest thing that she offers, so she's got Tumble. Which is her basic attack, like your slash, but hers doesn't do as much damage as yours. Oh, okay. But it's on a short cast time, so she's very good at interrupting, uh, at interrupting enemies, and she that can would also be perfect. heal. And of course, healers in role-playing games are always a vital, yes. vital part of uh, of your. Now you can help me heal too, as. Uh, yes, I can. How do you say his name again? I, I, I just call him Firefly. It's cool. Ignic Igniculus. Ignic Igniculus. Yes. Igniculus. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so it's much more efficient to use her heal than to use Igniculus. Now, I just clicked damage. her to attack, which maybe wasn't the smartest no, thing. No, it's fine. But I'm going to see what she does. I'm kind of curious. Oh, okay. And I'm going to uh, slow the other guy down. Okay, should I? Uh, I'm just going to slash this guy. That's yeah. Cool. So it's, it's almost always good. Well, actually, it is pretty much always good. To uh, to focus your 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 attacks on one guy and get them out of the out of the fight as soon as possible. Right. That's like the the ideal. Now what did I just do? I think I. You went to go attack. Yeah, and I think I decided that she would attack the wrong person because you're holding one guy for me. Yeah, I was holding the other guy for you. It's okay. It's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna slow this guy down because he's been hasted, so he's gonna move up the the timeline very 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 quickly. So I should maybe should I defend at this point? So actually no, if you. If you do a, a starlight against him, oh, because it's is a little he bit longer. To light? He's not necessarily that vulnerable to light, but it's it's a longer casting time, and okay. I think the way it'll time out is you will interrupt him. Okay, so let's hope this yeah. works. Perfect. There you go. And now, if you want, now Rubelia's oh. turn is up, but you might want to have her defend because then she can come in. Uh, she can come in and maybe uh, tag yeah. this, this spider. Oh, there yes, you that, go. That interrupt worked. That perfectly. was perfect. Yeah, now have her attack this this same guy, and you'll be able to interrupt him again. All right, coming for you. See, this you. is like this is this is the way you manage everything in this game is 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 all on. It's this. all turn based, time based. I mean, that's what time based game is, <laughs> right? Or turn based. Uh, so what is what is the part that you love most about Child of Light? It's this what we're doing right Just now. Just the like, attack. Yeah, it's the. I mean, that's the that's the fun, right? That's, yeah. It's like bringing you back to the Final Fantasy days. Yeah, I mean, like, this combat system and also very much uh, Grandia Two is really what 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 this game. Uh, it's an old Dreamcast RPG. Um, uh, that I used to love, Ooh. but this mix of this mix of kind of uh, real time and turn based and having to plan out your attacks in a very particular manner to interrupt your uh, your opponent's offense 
is uh, is really directly from from that game. And even though it was a great idea, not a lot of other games copied it for whatever reason. Uh, so that's that's what I love the most is that this is a really really smart, uh, well balanced take on that old uh, on that old idea. I love it. I mean, now if I defend him with Starlight. If you hit him with Starlight. By defend, I mean hit him. Yeah, by defend, <laughs> right. Him. By <laughs> block it. Make defend myself with Starlight. That's <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> yeah, if you hit him with Starlight right now and I'm slowing him, you should be okay. Yeah, cool. Hopefully this, guy's go this guy goes down pretty quickly. Nice. Oh, there Stop. you go. Perfect timing because I think we're pretty much done with this version, this Let's Play series. Yeah, absolutely. Not that's the series, but the episode. No, that's a, good, that's a good place to end it. It's a good we place to end it. We look like champs it. on that fight. Yeah, Let's and we met Jester. <laughs> we, yeah, exactly. And on top, <laughs> and on top, always. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks thanks for playing with us, guys. Um, we are going to have a few more of these. Every Saturday and Wednesday, I've set these up, leading up until E3. Uh, because E3 is going to be madness, and we won't really have time to do these. It's going to be craziness. It's going to be craziness. What are you looking forward to at E3? Honestly... I'm looking forward to things at E3 that I am not allowed to talk about yet. Oh, God. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's why you guys have to stay tuned stay to IGN. Stay tuned to IGN, guys. <laughs> uh, stay uh. tuned to IGN always and forever. Uh, you, could, you guys can get your hands on Child of Light if you watch this Let's Play and are, you know, tempted to do so. It's $14.99 on all platforms uh, right pretty now. Pretty much every Pretty much platform. every platform. Um, and it's just a really fun game, and it's, it's you know, not expensive. It's not it's expensive, a great story. and it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful creation, and definitely something for any old-school hardcore RPG fan. As much as the game is very approachable uh, and accessible, it's also got a lot of depth to it, too, without needing to be overly complex. See, and there you go. And people new to it, new to the genre, it's easy for them to get into as well. Really, if you've ever had any interest in this genre, you really should not be missing this. Exactly. So, guys, you heard it first uh, right here in our Let's Play series that we're going to be continuing. Uh, please follow Vince on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle, at, mister? At Vincognito. Yay. Spelled N-E-A-T-O at the end of it. So follow Vincognito. Vince. <laughs> and follow me on Twitter at Naomi Pyle. And we'll see you guys next Let's Play episode going live next Wednesday. And see I keep playing with your hair. Yay. Yay. Hair time. Girl time. <laughs> Hairdo. All right, bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>